Today we're going to be watching two animations from at Handy Monster. Godzilla minus one versus Shin Godzilla. I mean, I'm going to be rooting for Godzilla minus one, but Shin Godzilla, Shin just might have the upper hand. Shh. Shin does have small time hands though. Like, subscribe. Let's get on with this. Tokyo 1946. Wow, guys. Come on, you already know this is one beautiful animation. Just just look at Pandy's graphics, the motions, everything. Oh my god, this guy is he's insane. Wow. Is that Shins doing or Godzilla minus one? Definitely minus one. Raging out and about for no reason. Beautiful animation though. Love that roar. The army there. Trying to take minus one out. But we all know just the tanks are not enough. No way. There you go. As minus one does. The dorsal fins are getting blue and popping out one at a time until the end where boom, destruction. Wow. Just loving the animation. Everything is actually spot on. Perfect. So here comes the plane. Bear in mind, this is 1946, so it's Tokyo, Japan back then. The tanks that you see, these choppers, they're the old classic ones from World War time. I mean, imagine in the movie as well, Godzilla minus one. He's obviously in Japan in 1940-something, and then after the world war and 2016 current day now and after the war you get a monster coming up there we go that's the evil shinny shin has landed in tokyo 20 something whatever that was was that 2019 2016 what the heck was that so almost in our current day and age now Minus one is coming casually as he does from the ocean to the city to do a bit of shopping. And what do you see? You see this speed looking Shin Godzilla right before your eyes. A roar from the Alpha there. Shin's not gonna back down. Hell no. Oh! What a push! Shin obviously is going to start using that tail as a, the best form of defense and attack. Shin is so good with his tail though. Whatever angle he's in, whatever position on the ground, that tail you know is going to attack. I'm just looking at them tiny hands. Oh, that tail always scares me. Right, so this is the second part, part two of the animation. Shin just regen so quick. Minus one there with a banging attack. Steps on Shin. That is dominance right now. Oh! Oh, I've got to see that again. I've got to see that again. Wow. It just took those tiny hands out. I feel bad for Shin. Shin already had little tiny hands. And now without hands, it's even worse. Yeah, you know what he does. That tail always has to come back into action, into play when Shin is down. Wow, no hand Shin there at all. I mean, it, it, it hardly does anything to Shin anyway, so... 
Hey. <laughs> Shit is bad. Shit is not happy right now. Godzilla by this one is so pleased. Okay. That's just pure Shin there. Regen straight away. Changes with every time Shin gets attacked with something, he evolves with it and gets better. That's a pure prime example right there. Longer hands. Might even be longer than minus ones right now. There. He's loving his fists now. Longer reach. Would love Shin to actually give Godzilla minus one and the upper cup. Oh, wow, Shin is actually doing boxing now, hardly ever get to see Shin using those hands like that, and now with longer hands, prime time, how is minus one going to deal with this now, minus one thought, okay, I've taken Shin out, and now Shin is charging up, not a good sign, but it's going to take like 500 years before Shin can actually get that beam out. So it should be enough time for Godzilla Minus One right now to attack. But then Minus One takes ages as well. Here comes the smoke. Now we're going to get the fire. And then that beautiful beam. That crystal. Chopped Minus One in half. But we know Minus One regenerates so fast as well. It's going to be funny if it's going to be two against one right now. So, if Shin grew his hands that quick, imagine now we get two uh, minus ones. That's one part. Grow the rest of your body. And now the other part, the body has to grow the... Holy moly. Holy moly. Okay. The victory goes to shit, obviously. No. That's the sign. Was that actually a sign from a minus one? And it's going to regen and come back? Or was that a sign of he took his last breath? What do you think, guys, is going to happen now? Are we going to see... Minus one, maybe in another part, in part three, coming back stronger? Or did Shin just clearly beat the crap, and I mean the crap, out of minus one? Like, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.